Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. How to stop bugs and prevent them from getting in your grains. Yeah. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Thank you again for sharing. Greatly appreciate it. If you store your grains in your garage or you like me, you live in Florida 24-7, 365, bugs are a common problem. Especially for down here, we don't get the snow or the ice, so we have bugs year-round. Up north, you get a little reprieve during the winter, hopefully, but if you're storing your grains, even in the house or anywhere, there's always a possibility that you're going to get bugs in your grains. Sometimes we'll buy the grains, either with the bugs or with the eggs that will become the bugs or larvae, whatever you want to call it. Most people say they're weevils. They're actually a lesser known or a lesser, lesser grain burrower or something like that. It's, it looks like a weevil, call it what you want. It's a bug. Okay, or you get moss and they'll get in your grains. And I have admit, admitted before that I got them shortly after moving in here and doing this and I went nuts. I threw away a ton of greens and I tried a bunch of things, but I learned some tricks from that and I've not had another bug problem since then. It's been years, so rock on. Okay, so first, let's say you have the bugs and we're gonna tell you how to stop them and then how to prevent them. First, if you have them, it, these things are the number one problem with spoilage with grains. So if you're getting them, if it's bad, throw the grains away, just chuck them. I know it sounds bad, but chuck them. If I see them, I'm not eating them, <laughs> I'm chucking them. If you can tolerate a little bit and go, eh, I can deal with it, okay, that's up to you, okay? What I do, and actually when I do my inventory and verifying my inventory is I will move some of these from one container to another and I'll get a magnifying glass or even you can use your smartphone and magnify your photo part and look and if you see anything moving it'll move really slow and I'm not talking about the beetles if you see beetles you know you got bugs but they're tiny tiny little larvae that will become beetles yeah uh, it's already too late in my opinion maybe not for you but what you can do and this is what I did after I found the problem and I threw everything away and I started getting another grains in, I was paranoid. I took my grains, filled big giant freezer bags, and I pressed all the air out and I put them in my freezer and I cycled them every two days, every two days, and you put a paper towel inside with the grains, then let them come to room temperature for a day. Once they're at room temperature, my base malts are in here. You can even put bags and bags and bags of different malts inside of one of these and seal it up. If you're really paranoid like I was, I purged it with CO2 and sealed it up. That way I knew I wasn't going to get bugs again. Same thing with these. I used to have different containers I liked. I got these. These you can get off Amazon. I'll find a link down there for somebody, but they're the Chinese soup containers that you get your Chinese soup and they make different sizes and I got a varying sizes, but they seal airtight. I put soup and do like this, it won't drip. And it keeps bugs out because bugs will get in there. Bugs will spread and they'll spread like wildfire. So I'm telling you how to kill them and then how to keep them from spreading within your containers. But let's see if we can't stop them before they even get near your containers. Two things you can do, well, three technically. You get a duster, which is usually has like a little red tip on it. And all it is is just puff, it just puffs dust, okay? And it uses di diatomaceous earth, I'll take diosomaceous earth and I'll take boric acid. Boric acid is a white powder. It, uh, a lot of pest control people don't even know what boric acid does, but boric acid has been around forever since the Egyptians. They used to coat the bottoms of the tomb. So whenever they would come in, if the tomb had been undisturbed, a lot of the archeologists said there would be a fine white powder on the floor. Boric acid, and here's your entertainment, causes gas in creatures or bugs that have an exoskeleton usually they are unable or it's impossible for them to fart. So they can't pass that gas. So they die a horrible death. Um, if you're looking for boric acid, a lot of times in the dollar stores and stuff, you'll see it, I'll say roach powder or roach tablets, things like that. It works on all beetles, anything with an exoskeleton, it will kill them. If you get it in your mouth, if your pets get it, you might get a little diarrhea, but it's not a big deal. But what you'll do is wherever you keep your greens, either put it a little trim all the way around or coat the floor with it. Just a fine powder. I put this stuff under dishwashers, washing machines, anything where there's moisture and heat, 
anywhere I live in Florida because I know that there's just a matter of time before a bug crosses that path and I want to make sure when they walk across it, they die. The diatomaceous, if I can say that, earth sucks the moisture out of things. It literally just dries them up and that's it, they're dead. So really easy, freezer, two days with a paper towel, take it out, let it come to room temperature. That way you know you're not gonna get moisture in there or lose too much moisture. Then you can purge, purge containers like this, purge it with CO2, that helps, that, nothing can live without oxygen. Get something like this that seals. I'll put a link on this. Um, Home Brew finds, finds these on sale all the time. They get expensive if you don't. These things you can buy in quantity for like your adjuncts or whatever specialty malts that you don't have a lot. I even put my calcium chloride in this because calcium chloride, if it gets exposed to or exposed to moisture, it clumps up hard as a rock, which is a pain in the butt. So diatomaceous earth, I'll put all the information in the description, boric acid. Put it on the floor, put it around the edges. If it's in your house, you can put it around the corners where nobody will see, throw it under your keys or... If a bug crosses it, they're dead. And good sealed containers. And that's it. Nice, short, quick, easy. Thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing and hopefully you never get bugs in your grains. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and thanks again for sharing.